What's up everybody welcome to this video so right august just made a twitter post he just released the new wukong adjustments guys and i will be going through that as i said in the um, past videos wukong is not gonna stay like he is right now because he is simply too strong and even if it hurts me and you and every wukong main he was too strong guys we gotta be honest and he will get nerfed on his damage and he also comes up with some pretty nice, uh, interesting uh, adjustments that I will be going through right now. So uh, he starts with uh, more mana and this is really good because this is what we need. We need more mana because we run out of mana whenever we like use our whole combo rotation once and then we are out of mana. Like uh, let's say if you E and, and Q and, and W, you can do it twice I think and then you're out of mana on the laning phase. Um, this is not cool and you were actually forced to run presence of mind the rune presence of mind that stacks up mana But now he we will get some more mana. He says mana 260 over here guys. You can see it right now Right, let me just make it a little bit. Let me just zoom in here and we got 265 over here plus 38 per level This is how it used to be now. It goes up to uh, 300. This is really good plus 40 per level so he says Wukong tends to be a mana hungry throughout the game, loosening up on that constraint a bit for when he's casting QE plus costing his W a bit higher to compensate. So this is basically what I'm saying. This is really good. This is a really good adjustment. Um, a really good change and I like it. So then he says cooler passive and I was thinking about just in the previous game guys when I was playing when I was recording for your gameplay. They will come up. Uh, they will come. Uh, they will be online tomorrow. Um, when I was uh, recording that game, I was like, dude, my passive, I don't notice it. It is not noticeable. Noticeable. You don't notice the new passive. It's just like the same on the live servers. You don't notice the passive. And uh, Lutz, Lutzberg's passive, at least, you could sh see the shield and it was useful on the lane and also in the jungle because uh, it helped actually to trade with people. And uh, a right August's uh, passive, though, um is not noticeable right now so then he this is why he says cool the passive and i was like hey dude this is really good because now actually he's going to change the passive because it was uh, it, wa it wasn't um noticeable so he says over here guys the armor and region increase by 40 percent if three or more enemy champions are nearby this is the current passive okay he, ch he will change it today um Today the, the changes will hit the light at the PBE server. So then he says well, the, the change will be the armor and the region increase by 100% for 5 seconds whenever Wukong or his clone hit an enemy champion or large monster stacking up to 5 times. Stacking up to 5 times. This is really, really good. So um, when this means whenever you whenever you attack a champion, an enemy champion on lane, let's say, or a monster in the jungle, you will um your region your health region will increase by 100 percent so you will region a lot of health you will get a lot of health back and also your armor will increase by 100 percent for five seconds so whenever you go for these traits you actually will lose health but get it back just like let's say you are running a lifesteal item okay this is right there this is little mundo little mundo's passive right there <laughs> you can say okay you can say you're running a your passive is like a little lifesteal item right there so this actually buffs wukong on lane on top lane especially on top lane not really on mid lane because it says only armor over here guys okay it says only armor over here so this is a buff for wukong top lane and also for, for wukong jungle guys because this is really good in the jungle of course we can sustain now on lane and also in the jungle because whenever it says over here whenever we attack large monsters um our region and the armor will be uh, increased by 100 percent for five seconds so he then continues with let's be real the original passive i put in was lame yeah this is so true this is so true the passive wasn't even noticeable even without VFX or SFX, I would like to make something a bit cooler. This one has an optimization to Wukong play. can play a route, taking standard traits or fighting jungle monsters. More defense. This is so true, right, August? I'm so, I'm so glad that he, he realized that. 
So then we hop right into the damage tuning as he says over here. Q damage will get nerfed guys. It used to be 30 to 110 plus 70% um, bonus AD. It will be 30, still the same on level 1. It goes up on to 130 on the base stats guys. So the base stats will be stronger but then we have 10% less scaling um because it's only now 60 it will be only 60 percent bonus ad so 10 percent less so then he says on the w mana cost um is now it went from 50 to 60 so we have to spend more mana using that ability damage amp um used to be 30 to 70 percent it uh, will be 40 percent in the early and 60 percent in the late if you put points into that this is n i don't really care about that because this is not gonna affect us anyways because you you only put one point into w and so if you see it like that this is a buff right there because it's now 40 percent damage a, a amp instead of 30 percent so you you will put one point anyways only one point because you are supposed to skill up your q and your e so there will be only one point into w so you don't really care about these 10 percent less on higher ranks okay so this is actually a buff right there to be honest this is actually a buff right there even though it looks like a nerf it is a buff so then he says cooldown 22 uh, it used to be 22 uh, seconds to 14 on uh, max rank it will be 20 20 seconds though um this is again not a buff right there cooldown lowered here to 20 seconds and uh, on max rank it will be 14 uh still the same so then we continue with the e guys with the e ability it says over here damage will uh, go down from 80 on uh, first rank and uh, 260 max rank plus 100 percent ap scaling it will go down to 80 still the same on level one to 240 on level uh five so this definitely seems like we will go for uh q max first and e max second then he says 80 percent ap scaling so it goes down by 20 percent because uh we simply did a lot of ap damage with the e and you probably already saw my video if you if you didn't i'm just gonna link it on the top left corner or right uh right uh, top right corner just click on the eye icon and you will be good to go guys and um yeah it goes down by 20 percent and also uh 20 ad 20 attack damage on the base stats so the e got nerfed here so i think definitely um e max second and q max first you can tell me your opinion in the comment section though what to max first this is my opinion i think q max first and e max second so then he says E no longer follows the target like listen Q. Um, this was messed up as predicted. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I mean, as predicted, as predicted, as he says. So then our damage. One point will, will be also again nerfed, guys. One point two total attack damage. Total ID, I mean. Uh plus two point five uh till eight point five max. Uh, percent max HP plus one percent uh, per hundred hundred um, total AD goes down now by, by look at that so from 1.2 it goes down to 1.1 I gotta make sure that you can see that guys goes down by uh, 1.1 1 .1 total attack damage but the scaling actually on the max HP goes up um, to three from three till 9% when it used to be so when it used to be 2.5 till 8.5 so 0.5% more damage on the max HP thing so then this still this is still the same in the brackets it's still the same like it is over there so a little nerf on the total AD thing but a little buff on the max HP so they are definitely pushing us towards towards uh bruiser wukong and definitely nerfing assassin wukong with that um less a less attack damage right there and more max hp damage so this is definitely the bright august is pushing us definitely to play uh bruiser wukong here so he says these damage and cd adjustments are aimed at making wukong's early game stronger in exchange for some late game power 
which is already proving to be quite good now that your clone mimics your spells. Also looking to open up Q as a better max. It's possible his damage is too high low after this iteration. Well, keep tabs on it and continue to adjust as necessary. So then he says our timing adjustments, the last thing over here. Uh, our recast window goes up from, from 7 seconds to 9 seconds. This is really good. So we have now more time to actually cast our ult uh, another time. Lockout, lockout time between our casts is op goes up from 0.5 seconds to 1 second. This is actually nerf right there. Um, it used to be better. 0.5, half a second is better than 1 second, of course. Um, or do I misunderstand that? Yeah, I think I, I misunderstand that. I'm not really sure. You tell me, guys, what, what to, how to understand this sentence. I don't understand that. Fixed a bug where the clone was attacking while casting R. So a bug fix over there. Yeah, these are the adjustments, guys. Um, now make sure to go in the comment section below that video and tell me what do you think about these adjustments. What do you think about the nerfs on his E, Q, N, R um, damage-wise. And yeah, that's the video for today. Hope you're gonna like that one, guys. As always, stay fresh and cool and leave a like on that video and subscribe to the channel because a lot of more Wukong videos coming out in the future. And yeah, have a wonderful one.